Hi guys, welcome back Alley Cats. And if you're not an Alley Cat, subscribe, become one. Join the kitty litter. It's not as gross as it sounds. Yes it is. Like this video, share it with your friends and family so that they can become Alley Cats too. And turn on those notifications so you know when I post, I post every Friday. And let's get into this. It's spooky season, Alley Cats, and I am so excited. It is my favorite season for makeup. I love horror makeup. I love making my basic series and sharing like all the tips and tricks I've learned and everything, but horror makeup and extreme makeup, that's, that's my passion. That's what I love. So I can't wait to get into this season with you guys. I have a lot in store. <laughs> but without further ado, let me explain what we're doing here. I don't know what to call this. I mean, I guess you're, you guys are going to see by the title what I called it, but I'm thinking Ghost Bride. Did I go with that? What I'm going to do is probably a voiceover, to be honest, so I can really focus on what I'm doing here. I've never done this look before, and some of these techniques are a little new to me. So I think I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to focus here. <laughs> so let's get into this. All right, so we're going to start by gluing down our eyebrows. So I know you guys have seen me do this before. I'm just using good old Elmer's glue and then I'm brushing it back and forth through my brows and then I'm going to use a spoolie to smooth that out. To set it, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. This is just my go-to. This is what I use for everything. <laughs> to prime my eyes, I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance and then I'm going straight in with Mayron Paradise Paint in black. So I honestly didn't even know what I was doing here. I just kind of went for it. So I coated my eyelids in black and then I started to create lines and shapes with my brush. <laughs> I really didn't even know what I was wanting or what I was doing. It just kind of happened. I was using the tip of my brush here, which is a Real Techniques foundation brush, and then just creating little lines. I used a smaller brush to go up underneath my lash line all the way in. And then I started to create those little lines underneath too. So to highlight my inner corners, I'm using the Eric Quezada Cosmetics Highlighter. I'm not quite sure of the name of this. It doesn't have a name on it. I decided to extend my inner corners as well. And then I was loving how thin that brush was. So I decided to go for it and just create even more drama with those lines. So I was just kind of going all over the place, extending up. I was kind of thinking about creepy tentacles and I, I literally did not know what I was doing with this look. <laughs> and of course underneath as well. Now going in with Tarte Shape Tape and Fair, and I just applied this to the high areas of my face, underneath my eyes, chin, forehead, and mostly just to create a more pale effect. And then I went in with AOA Studio Sculpt Effects Stick, and this is in the shade Nude. It's a very gray toned contour, so it's perfect for this look. I just really carved out my cheekbones here. Also carving out my jawline, and then I just blended it all out. All right, so going into Morphe 35i Icy Fantasy palette, and we're using some of the mauve purpley shades. I just wanted to add some shading to my face. So I contoured my nose with this and I carved out my cheekbones even more. I also shaded my forehead. And then went in with that same highlighter from Eric Kizada Cosmetics. And I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> and uh, highlighted my cheekbones and, you know, all the normal areas. All right, now here's the fun part. I went in with third degree silicone. So you have parts A and B, 
You mix equal parts on a palette. And then I went ahead and applied that straight onto my forehead. I made sure to have the bulk of it in the center and smooth out the edges. And then I went ahead and created a cut or a slit straight down the middle of it. To give it some color and depth, I used the Ben Nye Ultimate Effects palette. I used multiple shades in here, ranging from yellow, green, blue, orange, just to add a bit of a skin color effect and uh, modeling to the skin or to the silicone to make it look skin-like. And then I went in with multiple shades of the reds here and created some irritation and depth for the blood that comes later on. And then using a much smaller, just concealer brush to paint in that red and irritation. All right, pull out your sewing kits. <laughs> it's time for home ec. At first I was actually going to create stitches in the silicone. That didn't happen, but you'll see what happens. So first I wanted to fill in my lips. So I used the Becca Ultimate Lip Definer in the shade Fearless. Went ahead and lined my lips and then filled them in with the Dose of Colors lipstick. And this is in the shade Butterscotch. Applying that in the center of my lips and then just blending that out. And also going in with the Ardell lip stain. I just wanted to give a little color to the center of my lips. Breaking out the lash glue here. This is the Kiss Strip Lash Glue. You can see I already placed one, but I am just pretty much creating a sewn mouth shut type of vibe. Again, didn't really know what the hell I was doing here. Just was going with it, really. <laughs> so I was gluing down each end of the thread. Going back in with that FX palette to create irritation around all of the little uh, spots where it was coming out of my skin. I created all of these teardrops with hot glue, then I glued little gems to it. These are all going to hang from the wound in my forehead. I just use lash glue to apply it. Voila! Always my favorite part of a makeup, breaking out the blood. So here is Living Nightmare Theatrical Blood. Literally just got this from Spirit Halloween. Possibly expired. Still used it. Used it on a popsicle stick to apply it into the slit. And then I dragged it down each of the little tears, just a little. I wanted the tears to be translucent so they would uh, stand out against the black eyes. And we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I am loving it. Love to see this on a runway somewhere. Like, I'm so inspired by horror in fashion and on the runway. I eat that ish up. I really do. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys love it too. I want to do a full series on this. I have a bunch of ideas in mind, so get ready. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more of these high fashion horror looks and just more Halloween looks in general. Like this video, share it with your friends and family so that they can become alley cats too. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.